and welcome to the Gadget Show Web TV, your gadget guide to the latest and hottest tech. And here's John with this week's first look. This is Samsung's new 10.1 inch Galaxy Tab, not the slightly earlier 10.1 V Tab, which was slightly fatter. This is the new thinner, lighter version. Very desirable it is too, possibly the most desirable Android tablet yet. On first impressions, it actually feels slightly better than the iPad 2. It's thinner, it's lighter, it's got a higher resolution, more video-friendly shaped screen, which seems just as bright. And the cameras are better specified too. There's a three megapixel rear facing one with flash, two megapixel front facing, and they seem to work pretty well. Inside, there's a Tegra 2 1 gigahertz dual core processor, which keeps the latest version of Android for tablets, 3.1 Honeycomb, running very smoothly. And thankfully, Samsung have resisted the temptation to tweak too much with the Honeycomb interface. They've added a few things like a link to their Music Hub online music store. You can make the widgets usefully resizable. But basically, they've kept it as is, which is good. There's a choice of 16 gigabyte and 32 gigabyte versions, all have Wi-Fi, but you can also get versions with 3G as well. On the negative side, I think it's a pity that Samsung haven't incorporated a standard USB socket or a card reader, and clearly iOS still has the advantage in terms of the number of apps that are written for it. But, taken overall, I think the iPad 2 at last has a worthy competitor.